Welcome back everyone. Today's video is straight shots across the table, straight follow throughs and straight screw shots. What I've done here is um, with these shots I've slowed them down just upon making the shot because um, it sort of allows us to see any flaws in the cue action and um, I've got a few. I've noticed that, um, especially on the screw shots, I'm pushing the cue through to the left, to my left. It doesn't always seem to affect the shot, so I think it's to do with the, the timing. When I've hit the, sometimes I think I hit the white ball before it makes any difference. You see with that one, I've hit the white ball. And then it goes through to the left, but I think sometimes it's going through. To, it's starting to go through to the left before I actually make contact, and that's where it's really creating a problem. So this um, this footage here has been invaluable actually to to see that, but I'm still not really sure how I'm going to correct it. That's the problem. I imagine that's probably the issue that's really holding my game back, because I mean. Probably aiming the ball fairly well. And then sort of 50% of the time um, I'm hitting the white ball slightly differently. It's going to be confusing my brain a wee bit. So here I'm going alright. Um, the follow through is not, not too difficult really. Um, Like I've probably said in other videos, I haven't spent much time on the table lately, so I've gone backwards a wee bit, but um, these follow-through shots are pretty pretty simple. It's when I get to the screw shots that I uh, start to struggle a little bit. Yeah, you can see that really pushed that um, Q-tip to the left there, eh? I suppose it's going to naturally do that a little bit on a right-handed player as your your hand sort of touches the side of your body, but it just doesn't look right to me. So if there's any um, experienced players or coaches out there um, can enlighten me as to what's happening there, it may help other people that are watching this video as well. So there didn't seem to make much difference to the to the white ball. I'll see you when we get to the screw shots. So this is where we start doing some screw shots into the near pocket or our far pocket. Um, this is where it's really making. Yeah, you can you can see it really affecting that white ball. So this has been really good to sort of illustrate what's going on. This shouldn't really be particularly difficult at all for me. And on, a, on some days, uh, I don't seem to have too much of a problem. But yeah, today I was really killing through to that left hand side. Yeah, it is. Just putting heaps of left hand side on that ball, though. And you can see by my puzzled face why am I doing it? I don't want to do it, it's just happening. I've experimented with holding my back hand slightly further back. I thought that might have helped. It didn't seem to really do much. Oh, that's a real... See that? I've really gone 
through hard to the left, but just because of the timing, I must have hit the white ball dead centre, and and that that it was on the follow through more. And that's making it even more confusing when I'm aiming other shots with angle, because I'm not hitting that uh, that ball consistently. I think if I can get this out of my game, my game will just go ahead in leaps and bounds. Really forcing it through to the left, but it's coming back straight. Which is, it's yeah, that really is confusing when you're on the table. You're thinking, oh, yep, I must be hitting it straight. The cue is going off, off centre, it's just all to do with timing. There, it's a, yep. I didn't go any more to the left, it was just um, that I happened to hit the white ball at a specific time. I think I start to struggle here a bit. There's a few, um, a few go wrong. That one's gone out to the other side. I think I might have been trying to correct it. It's sort of a case of, I know what I've got to fix, but I'm just not sure how to fix it. So I'll continue to struggle along here for a little while and then see you at the end of the uh, video.
So we're getting near the end now. Um, I think this is the last shot on this camera angle, and then I'll just show a couple of shots with the GoPro. As soon as I went to the effort of wearing it, that went nice and straight. Um, I think looking from this angle, it actually shows you even less. Definitely see that Q-tip still going to the left a little bit. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the um, the video. It just shows how valuable for um, showing up any any issues in your Q-action video it actually is. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.